While the city county council is still in the early stages of approving nearly $19 million of the city's share of financing to rebuild the city market block, a trio of other projects that have already been greenlighted should be ready to break ground soon after the council tonight approves more tax increment financing. The former Virginia Avenue Indianapolis headquarters of White Castle will someday give way to a $60 million five-story apartment building that will include 14,000 square feet of retail and commercial space that the owner of a chicken restaurant less than a year in the neighborhood can't wait to see. I would imagine people living around here are going to be um, a younger crowd, and I feel like that's our large customer base. I feel like we serve people, you know, from the teenage to like early 30s. Yeah. And I'm hoping that's what it'll be. That's why the city is willing to kick in more than $8 million in tax increment financing to help goose neighborhood commercial and housing investment. There's $7.3 million in TIF money on the line for 200 new apartments at 1331 East Washington Street and $7.5 million in TIF funds for the $65 million five-story apartment building that will bring 204 units plus retail and commercial space to the former Kroger store in Broad Ripple. More than 600 new apartments should ease Marion County's 90% occupancy rate. And the TIF bonds commit the developers to set aside moderate income housing or kick in to the city's affordable housing fund. That indicates to us that we have an opportunity to build more housing, uh, which also hopefully slows down the, the growth rate of rents um, and, and evens that out a bit more in our city. As I said, the City County Council is still in the early stages of approving $19 million of financing to support the construction of 350 apartments at the Gold Building and to build an 11-story tower here on the east wing of the City Market for 60 new apartments. At the City Market, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.